Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to be showing you a very basic integration of Agora's real-time messaging SDK by building a simple chat application. So with that being said, let's get straight to the point. We'll take a look at the demo and then we'll start coding this thing out. Okay, so here I have two tabs open side by side and I'm just gonna send a few messages back and forth. We can also add in another tab here and as you can see, these users are able to send each other messages all in real time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll need is an Agora app, so make sure you have an account and an app already created. One thing I did wanna mention before we get started is that we're not gonna be using tokens in this video, so whenever you're creating your app, make sure you select the app ID only method, otherwise you'll need a token, and that's not something that we're gonna do in this quick integration video. If you have your app ready, go ahead and create a folder somewhere on your computer and open up the text editor of your choice. In this folder, we'll wanna create an HTML template, I'll just create some boilerplate code here and remove the CSS and JavaScript links. And I'm also gonna update the title tag. We'll write all our JavaScript code directly in the template so no external files will be needed other than the SDK that we're about to download. Okay, so now we'll wanna jump back into our Agora console and let's go ahead and grab the latest RTM SDK. So for the platform, we'll select web, then we can scroll down and go ahead and select RTM and this will download a folder onto your computer. Once you've downloaded the RTM SDK, let's go ahead and find the file that we need and simply drag this file into our project folder. In your HTML file, let's go ahead and create a script tag and for the source, go ahead and select the file path to the SDK that we just downloaded. And now underneath our Agora SDK, let's go ahead and add in another script tag and this is where we're gonna start writing our JavaScript code to configure everything. We'll start integrating RTM in a minute, but first let's jump back into our HTML and create a form so we can send messages. Let's go ahead and give this form an ID of form and then set the input value to the type of text and give it a name of message. Below the form, we'll set an empty div and go ahead and give this div an ID of messages. This is where all the messages will be added to. And back in our JavaScript code, let's go ahead and set some variables for our user and app credentials. First thing we'll wanna set here is our app ID and you can get this from your Agora dashboard by finding the app you created and there you can actually copy the app and go ahead and paste it in here and make sure it's a string. For the UID, this value can just be a string but let's just go ahead and generate a random number and then we'll just make sure that this is a string value. For the token value, we can just leave this as null because we're gonna handle our authentication with our app ID only. So let's go ahead and set that and then we'll just go ahead and create the channel name. And for this, we'll just call it main for now and we're only gonna have one channel. Now that we have our credentials set up, let's start by creating a function that will initiate our code and join a channel. Let's create the function and call it initiate RTM and let's make sure it's an async function. In this function, let's first create our client object by using the create instance method from Agora RTM. And here we can just pass in our app ID. And the next step here is to log in. So we'll use the login method and pass in our UID and token. Here we pass in our UID, but the token is optional. So the null value that we currently have set is okay. Now we wanna create our channel. So let's go ahead and use the create channel method from the client object and we'll pass in the channel name. Once our channel is set, let's go ahead and use the join method to join the channel. Okay, so we've joined the channel and now we wanna be able to actually send messages. So for this, we first wanna add an event handler to our form to get the message from the user. Let's go ahead and query our form and add an event handler to it. And now on form submissions, we'll first wanna prevent the default actions of the form by setting the event in the parameters and calling the prevent default method. Next, let's set the message value by getting this from the form. And then we'll just go ahead and call the channel send method. In this method, we'll pass in the message in the text value and we'll set the type to text. This method will broadcast the message to every member that has joined this particular channel. Now let's just call the reset method so the form is cleared and ready for another message from our user. So now this message is sent to the channel, but we need a way to actually receive the message. So for this, we have an event handler that we can listen for for whenever the send message method is called. Underneath the form submission, let's add an event handler by calling channel.on and setting the value to channel message. When the send message method is called, we wanna have a function that handles what happens next. So let's set this function in the second parameter and for now, let's just console out the message. Now, in order for this code to run, let's go ahead and call the initiate RTM function and open up two tabs side by side. I should be able to submit this form and see it consoled out on the receiving end in the other tab. So if I open up the console, I can now write out a few messages and we can see the messages being output in the console because of the event listener that we added. Okay, so let's take this one step further and actually output the messages in the template. 
Back in our code, we'll create a function called handle message. And all this function will do is take in the message object and we'll simply append it to that messages wrapper. Let's query the messages container by using document.getElementById and then set the message element to a paragraph tag using template literal so we can pass in the message value in here. Last thing before we use this function is to append the message element to the messages container by using insert adjacent HTML and passing in the message element. Okay, so now let's jump back into our event handler and simply call this function and pass in the message object. So the channel message event will be sent to all other members in this channel, but we also want our current user to see their own message. So to make this work, let's go ahead and use the same function inside of the form submit event. And in this case, let's pass in the message as an object with the original key value pairs. Now, if we jump back to our browser and open up two tabs side by side, we should see that both users can now message each other in real time. And this works for any amount of users. So test this out by opening up any number of tabs and writing out some more messages. Okay, so that's it for this video. We just completed a very basic chat application, so be sure to check out the links in the video description to look at the documentation, and don't forget to subscribe to the Agora YouTube channel.